It's not uncommon for us to change throughout our lifetime and have the people around us barely notice. After all, we're not in the public eye, nor do many of us get life-changing opportunities. But in the celebrity world, well, things are a little different. From celebrities changing to suit their characters, to those changing for personal reasons, here are 15 of the craziest celebrity transformations of all time. Number 15. Jason Momoa Looking at Jason Momoa now, it's hard to believe he was ever anything other than a long-haired, bearded ruffian. And let's face it, a bit of a spunk. But believe it or not, Jason has undergone many transformations throughout his life to get to where he is today. He started life as an ordinary child, as we all pretty much do. But he became an attractive young man who was spotted as a fresh-faced teenager by fashion designers Takio Kobayashi and Eric Chandler. He then quickly got into modeling before moving on to acting and appearing in Baywatch Hawaii from 1999 to 2001. Called Drogo. He's a pretty mean kind of guy. And, um... A little more modeling followed before Jason embraced a grungy style with dreadlocks, which he wore while filming Stargate Atlantis. Many people will remember the cornrows phase of the early 2000s, and Jason jumped on the bandwagon, swapping his dreads for cornrows. After working on his body, Jason landed roles in Aquaman, Conan the Barbarian, and Game of Thrones. His role in Game of Thrones saw him sport a long beard, long hair, and a ruffian look. Comparing him from his younger years to now, it's clear he underwent a huge transformation. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Dwayne The Rock Johnson Dwayne Johnson has had a fruitful career in football, wrestling, and acting. He's worth millions of dollars and has fans across the globe. But can you believe he started from nothing? In fact, he's had multiple hardships in his life that make his successes even sweeter. Dwayne moved around a lot as a child. While he was born in California, he lived in New Zealand, Hawaii, Florida, Texas, and Pennsylvania, just to name a few. But that doesn't mean his family was wealthy. Quite the opposite, in fact. There was even a time when he returned home with his mom at age 15 to find an eviction notice after they weren't able to pay their rent. Dwayne has also been a victim of bullying as a child, especially since he moved around a lot. Vince McMahon told me it's your night. Keep your head up. He was always the new kid, and he would get into a lot of fights because of it. Later in life, he also suffered from depression. But his life started changing for the better when he received a full scholarship from the University of Miami. After graduating, he played football for Canada before turning to wrestling. By the time he starred in The Mummy Returns, Dwayne's life path was set. Can you believe this crazy transformation? Number 13. Jason Statham Jason Statham is just one of those actors you can't get enough of. One minute, he's a racing car driver, and the next, he's a special forces operator. He has starred in over 40 movies and has done all of his own stunts. With that kind of background, you would expect him to have had a head start in life, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Jason well and truly deserves all that he has achieved. Car he drives, you take care of the car, car will take care of you. He grew up in a working-class family, with his mom as a dancer and his father a street salesman and lounge singer. Initially, Jason wanted to take a different path. He dedicated all his time to diving, trying to make it as a professional diver. Given that you don't see him diving today, that's proof that his life took a different turn. He wasn't able to make it professionally, so he became a black market seller of jewelry and perfume. That was, of course, until his path crossed with English crime filmmaker Guy Ritchie. Literally taken from the streets to the big screen, Jason was a hit. He is now one of the most popular action movie stars of our time. Number 12. Kristen Stewart Unlike many other actresses and actors, Kristen Stewart didn't come from nothing. 
In fact, her parents were both involved in the Hollywood scene as a script supervisor and stage manager, so there was every chance she would end up some way involved as well. She grew up in a beautiful home and was able to make her way into the acting world at around 8 years old. But that doesn't mean that Kristen stayed the same throughout her entire acting career from then until now. She has struggled with being in the spotlight, particularly when she was cast as Bella in Twilight. She then stunned her Bella fans by being cast in a role in Welcome to the Rileys, which required her to play a homeless kid and stripper. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, just for novel's sake. Just she then played legendary rock star Joan Jett in The Runaways. Kristen underwent further transformations in her career by coming out as bisexual in 2017 and becoming the highest paid actress in the world. But Kristen didn't just stop at acting. In the late 2010s, she also became a director of her own film, Come Swim, which was shown at the 2017 Cannes Film Festival. Number 11, Linda Hamilton. Linda Hamilton, famously known for her role as Sarah Connor in The Terminator, has undergone some amazing transformations in her life, especially when you compare it to her early life. And while The Terminator was definitely the turning point, that doesn't mean she didn't have some pretty impressive highlights along the way. You know, it's all, all going according to plan. Linda was born in Maryland with her twin sister, Leslie. Her father was a doctor, and he died when they were just five years old. They also had an older sister and younger brother. After attending Washington College in Maryland, Linda decided to move to New York City to study acting. She started as a TV actress and soon landed quite a significant role in Secrets of Midland Heights. By 1986, she had a few film roles under her belt and managed to land the role of Sarah Connor in the 1984 film The Terminator. The scene was set and Linda became a household name. Before long, she was appearing in Terminator 2, A Mother's Prayer, Dante's Peak, and Beauty and the Beast. Linda has won several awards and now has a net worth of around $70 million. Number 10, Diego Armando Maradona. Out of all footballers, Argentine footballer Diego Armando Maradona has perhaps undergone one of the most dramatic transformations throughout his lifetime. He was born in 1960 and lived in a shanty town on the outskirts of Buenos Aires, Argentina. His family was poor and he is one of seven children. At the age of eight, Diego was noticed by a talent scout and so his journey to stardom began. He played in various clubs and stood out from the crowd. By the time he was 16, he had made his international debut against Hungary. It wasn't long until he was the star of the show, having stood out in the 1979 FIFA World Youth Championship in Japan. His fall from grace started in the 1980s when he became a cocaine addict. However, he was also prone to weight gain. By the end of his playing career, he was obese and underwent gastric bypass surgery. Now that Diego's playing days are over, he's a football manager and current coach of the Argentine Primera Division Club, Gimnasia de la Plata. Number 9. Sylvester Stallone Sylvester Stallone is one of the biggest action stars in the world. He is no stranger to box office success, and he's most famously known for his roles as boxer Rocky Balboa and the Vietnam War veteran John Rambo. Still, even though Sylvester looks like he has it all, he didn't always. He was born in 1946 in New York, and even that was a rocky start for the actor. After a forceps incident during his birth that resulted in nerve damage, he was left with a slightly droopy face and slurred speech. His early childhood was complicated, made even more so by his parents' hostile relationship. After their divorce, he spent some years in foster care before living with his father in Washington, D.C. Sylvester struggled with his emotions and schooling and was expelled time and time again. He later moved in with his mother and eventually went on to study drama in college. Once he completed his degree, he was off to New York to live the acting dream. Still, success didn't come easy. Sylvester did everything from ushering at movies to cleaning out lion's cages and appearing in an adult film to make ends meet. With an interest in writing, he started writing a script about a struggling professional boxer and, well, the rest is history. Number 8. 
Michael B. Jordan Michael B. Jordan is a famous actor known for his roles in films and TV shows like Hardball, All My Children, Blackout, Law and & Order, CSI, and Cold Case. He started his career as an actor and model and started making a name for himself after appearing on The Sopranos in 1999. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. And while he had to jump into character for each movie and show he appeared in, as all actors do, his most significant transformation was definitely for Black Panther. Michael played the role of villain Eric Killmonger Stevens. It's not hard to see just how many hours he had to spend in the makeup department to play this role. His body was covered in marks to represent each kill, and he had to have each mark put on individually in the makeup department each day. There are around 90 raised marks in total, and Michael would spend about two and a half hours sitting still while they were applied as sculpted silicone molds. They were then blended and painted to match his skin tone. Michael said that while it was definitely exhausting, it was totally worth it. After each day, he would go into a sauna to sweat them all off before having to undertake the entire process again the next shoot. Number 7. Chrissy Teigen Chrissy is one busy woman. She's a model, TV personality, blogger, author, social media sensation, and she has well and truly made her mark on the entertainment world. Still, you wouldn't believe her transformation to get where she is today. Chrissy started modeling at quite a young age and featured in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue for four or five years. She also made quite the impression in Cosmopolitan, Ocean Drive, Esquire, Vogue, and Glamour. You may even recognize her from Olay, Nike, and Gillette. However, from the fresh-faced teen to the beautiful young woman she is today, she's certainly changed her style and beauty regime. In her high school years, she had long, dark, straight hair. Roll the clock forward a few years and she started sporting waves and a much darker tan. Those waves eventually turned into curls and she was rocking a beautiful new look at Entertainment Awards evenings. As the years passed though, Chrissy started opting for more sophisticated looks, like side fringes, cute and chic chignons, and lobs. These days, though, Chrissy's rockin' mom's life and is still a powerhouse no matter which hairstyle she chooses to adopt. Number 6. Zoe Saldana Zoe Saldana is most famously known for her role as the Guardians of the Galaxy's Gamora, but you probably wouldn't recognize her. And we don't blame you, for it's not exactly natural to have green skin, is it? In her role, which she's been playing for around five years, she has to sit for several hours while a makeup artist and makeup effects artist get to work. When she first started playing Gamora in 2014, her hair and makeup regime would take around five hours. It all meant a grueling five hours on the makeup chair for the first Guardians film. Some of the pieces are prosthetic, which speeds up the process, but the rest is all about time and artistry. Special effects makeup designer David White said her forehead is an encapsulated silicon prosthetic that has been sculpted over where her eyebrows were to create shadowing. Even her cheeks are prosthetics. Applying the prosthetics takes around three hours, and removing them can take anywhere from half an hour to 45 minutes. Five films later, they've managed to shave around an hour off the process, while changing a few details such as using more skin-friendly products. Number 5. Chris Pratt It's not unheard of for actors to go through dramatic transformations for movie and TV show roles. They want to get into character as best they can, and that can take a lot of effort and hard work, depending on the part. Ryan Reynolds underwent a transformation for Blade 3, Brad Pitt for Fight Club, and Chris Evans for Captain America. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. But Chris Pratt, well, he's an example of a huge change. Chris had to lose weight and get in shape for his part in Guardians of the Galaxy. He did such a great job of it that people started to wonder what his secret was. He had already built up a lot of muscle mass for Zero Dark Thirty, in which he played a US Navy SEAL, but he would have had to almost start over again for Guardians of the Galaxy. 
he managed to lose 60 pounds in six months and did it the old-fashioned way, through proper diet and exercise. He filled his diet with protein, cut out burgers, fried foods, and hash browns, and worked out. He did plenty of resistance training, jogging, and crossfit to make him the lean, muscly machine that he was for his role. Number 4. Chris Hemsworth in 2015, Chris Hemsworth was a buff, toned Australian actor who completely rocked the role of Thor. But if you were to put a picture of Chris as Thor next to Chris as a shipwrecked sailor in the movie The Heart of the Sea, you may not even recognize him. For that movie, he lost a whopping 15 pounds in a diet he laughingly called Lost at Sea. Chris looked absolutely starved and also sported long, overgrown hair and a rough beard. The transformation was incredible. He even had his face, arms, and chest covered in brown dirt. He looked hungry, not Hemsworth. The Heart of the Sea featured Chris as Owen Chase, and it was a true story based on 19th century sailors who had been shipwrecked. He said he didn't recommend the weight loss regime as it was brutal. Chris said he had already started out lean, so becoming even slimmer was a ruthless process. He was quoted as saying that every pound felt like a kilogram. All cast members who played sailors were steadily reducing their diets to be convincing in their roles. By the time they were ready to shoot the shipwrecked scenes, they were only eating 500 calories per day. Number 3. Tom Hardy Transforming your body for a movie role is necessary in the movie world, but it can also be quite damaging. Tom Hardy is no stranger to beefing up, having to make himself much larger to play supervillains, warriors, and the like. The way he bulks up is every junk food lover's dream. He eats a lot of calories like pizza, milk, shakes with ice cream, peanut butter, and similar. But then he adds muscle by doing deadlifts and squats, on top of consuming around 4,000 calories every day. But Tom said it himself. He has damaged his body with so many transformations for his films. He put himself under some brutal training to play Charles Bronson in Warrior, and then as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Then, as he finishes one film and starts getting ready for the next, he has to change the shape of his body again. Tom says he feels a lot achier than he used to, and that he has joints that now click that probably shouldn't. He even says carrying his children is harder than it used to be. It's definitely a high price to pay for producing quality films. Number 2. Chris Evans There were plenty of standout features of the movie Captain America. But one of the most talked about was Chris Evans' transformation from a skinny teenager to a far more muscular man. How did he do it, and why does his body look entirely different? Of course, actors make massive transformations all the time, but this one was done a little differently. Technology is a beautiful thing. VFX company Lola used over 300 body shots to shrink Chris Evans' 220-pound form to a 140-pound body. The film also used a body and acting double, Leander Dini, who dieted for the role. In some scenes, the company used digital head replacements and face projection techniques. They had multiple cameras and could track the digital file onto Leander Dini's body. In about 85% of the shots, they used a 2D scale of Chris. Clothing was oversized, hats were oversized, and props would be lowered so people would look down on him as if he were smaller. Sometimes clever camera angles were all it took to offer the illusion of frailty. Well done, Lola. We're impressed. Number 1. Brad Pitt Brad Pitt is a big name in the acting world, but it wasn't a fluke. You gotta hand it to the guy. He's worked hard and transformed his body time and time again to be role-ready. Take his role in the 1999 film Fight Club, for example. Brad managed to get down to just 5 or 6% body fat. At 5 feet 11 inches, he was only sitting at around 155 pounds. Working on his physique took a lot of hard work and dedication. He focused on one muscle group every day. 
Monday was the day for chest workouts, Tuesday for his back, and Wednesday for his shoulders. For the rest of the week, he fit in plenty of cardio and, of course, some rest. The crazy thing about his workout routine, which you can find online, is that his sets didn't always have a limit. While he might do three sets of front raises at 25 pounds, he would also do three sets of 25 pull-ups until he was fatigued. Imagine doing the same exercise until you were utterly exhausted. He also made sure his diet was top-notch too, so he ate plenty of fish, chicken, brown rice and pasta, vegetables, and oatmeal. There are no two ways about it. Brad's transformation was out of this world. It's hard to believe how many celebrities have undergone such dramatic transformations for movies and their own personal development. Can you think of any others recently that you were shocked about? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!